So I actually tried to do this before, but uh, apparently the video was corrupted, even though it took me like 10 takes. But, uh, so I'm going to get to do this again. Luckily it's a better day out, and uh, I'm actually doing this from outside, so that's, uh, I guess, better. So anyway, this is uh, Tokyo, I guess, you know, obviously that's just more specifically Kuchu. Uh, this is my dormitory building there. Um, that's the uh, campus. I, I mean, I guess the whole thing is the campus, but that's where you know where classes are, and there's a field. And there's, you know, outside the uh, world with uh, Tokyo. Whatever, let's just go in. Yeah, there you go, International Residence Hall, number two. That's the, uh, for now, I... Hold on. Yeah, they don't have... Our cards don't work yet, so we have these temporary cards. Let's go like that. Oops, wrong. Oh my god, are you kidding? Dropped it. Alright. Just like that. Set my on. Let's <coughs> do it again. Now, this uh, main area is pretty echoey and quiet, so I might not talk as much as we go through because uh, it's a little awkward, honestly. Right, same thing here. Hopefully, this time I won't drop it. Yep, that door in a little. Alright, and uh, here's my dorm, so I had to talk at all through that part, but uh, there was some uh, random Japanese girls there doing something. And really, it's honestly incredibly awkward to uh, do this, so, I don't know, anyway, that area, it's all outside, uh, it's pretty quiet, I guess. It's a dorm, what else can I say? So anyway, I'll turn off over here. There you go, and then uh, here's my uh, wonderful living area. Pretty much, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you saw the, I, I say that like anyone actually cares about me, but uh, I'm sure many people saw the pictures on Facebook, so oh, I think this exact shot, look at that, in color. Anyway, here's the uh, full tour. First, you know, you have the kitchen area, and it's got a burner. I don't really cook, so most likely I'll just end up burning the place down. Apparently, if you get water on it, you... Uh, it shuts off and shuts off your power, and you can't use this burner for like three days or something. Uh, sink. You can see my dirty dishes there. Why is it dripping? Let's turn that off. Nope, nope, no, no, one. Nope. Alright, we're good. Um, Alright, here's the bathroom, which I actually did not take pictures of because it's kind of weird, but. Ah, well, actually, oh. Oops, oops. Not really. Ah, whatever. Anyway, that's a toilet. So you notice there's no uh, shower or shower bath anywhere in here. Um, yeah, I'll get to that later, but it's pretty intense, I guess. Uh, you know, I guess there's been like Discovery Channel shows on um, Japanese toilets, but this one's pretty standard. Oh, I guess the one thing it has, which most Japanese toilets have, is you can see here the uh, this. Kanji means small, and this means big, so if you want small, you flush up, if you want big, you flush down, uh, that's all I'll say about that, I'm sure you can figure out why you would do that. Although, I think, uh, we really should get in the U.S., because they keep cutting down, you know, the water pressure, and, you know, toilets don't even really flush anymore, practically, but, whatever, I'm not in charge of, whatever. <laughs> uh, let's turn that off, let go off, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, fridge, you can see all I have is a uh, bottle of uh, Sunkist 100% apple juice, which isn't even that good, but it's all the convenience store had. The rest of it's completely empty, but uh, honestly, it's not a bad fridge, like, pretty new and stuff. I'm sure eventually I'll buy some food and stock it up. I also got a freezer, which all it has is just ice, because that's how it rolls. Yep, alright, uh, got these for free, haven't washed them yet, which I kind of plan to do with bleach, because there's a, just looks pretty disgusting over there, but whatever, uh, 
I'll talk about that free area more. That's why I kind of stopped there. Uh, here's more of my silverware. Actually, I didn't show you guys over there, but whatever. It's not important. I got this bowl, sponges, etc., etc. Uh, this is my desk, which actually is probably the biggest desk I've ever had in existence. Um, yeah, but it's already getting pretty cluttered. Uh, oh, that's my passport. Gonna that away. My alien registration card forms just took these pictures in the thing. Some traveler's checks from a bank, right there. Uh, calendar, spoon they gave me at the convenience store. My MP3 player, whatever. Ah, the camera case for this case camera. Ah, yeah, here we are. The, uh, as I said, my uh, bathroom doesn't have a shower or bath or anything like that. So instead they give us a, this card, you know, as you can see this is 107, my room number. And, uh, Basically, you go there, you, you know, put it against the thing, like, you know, Suica or whatever, and it opens it up, and, uh, take a shower. I mean, it's not the end of the world that I don't have my own shower. I did it in Albany for a while, but, uh, and it's a lot cleaner, like, 10 million times cleaner, so, it's just a better shower overall, honestly. Uh, you can see the time's now 16.05, which is 4.05, for those who don't know how to read military time, like myself, um. I got the sweet watch, by the way. Anyway. Um, you know, computer, Facebook, pretty standard stuff. I found this pen somewhere, actually, in America, no less. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Alright, yeah, I got this uh, awesome free TV here. Like, this is the greatest TV that ever lived. Um, so, basically, right next to my dorm. I'm not sure if you have seen it when I walked in, but there's this recycling uh, area where if anyone has stuff they don't want, they can just put it there and someone will take it. Uh, it's usually pretty broken, like this was my third TV, and it's not really, as you can tell, in the best condition. But uh, I, I brought my antenna for it because I have a TV card, which I plan to use, but you know, this works a little bit better. Although I think when they switch to digital, whatever that is, this TV will be pretty obsolete. So maybe I'll have to use that after all, or just feel a better TV. But uh, yeah, it's got a VHS player, so... Gonna go stack up on some tapes eventually. Uh, let's turn it on. Oh wow, we actually uh, get sound sometimes. Last time I did it, it was pretty perfect. I uh, the uh, speaker doesn't work sometimes. All I have to do is hit it, and it comes back on. So that's pretty. That's pretty classy. Uh, apparently, some samurai dramas on. I don't know. I just what channel is this? Oh yeah, Fuji uh, or no TBS. Alright, here, let's just go through. Uh, more Samurai television. Some drama. Uh, some bad... I don't know, not very good reception, so I can't really tell. Ah, uh, one of these TV shows. Talking about the... Something about cigarettes. Whatever. Ah, uh, yeah, this, this never comes in good. Oh, what's, what's going on here? Let's, you guys can handle it. And NHK, which is never interesting, ever. Maybe, I know, sometimes. Oh, well, look at that duo! Sweet! I didn't even know this was on. I think I'll be watching that later. Awesome. Uh, wow. There you go, look at this, though. So, Japanese TV, streaming to you. I'm sure I'll get sued by one of the Japanese television companies for this, and no one will ever be able to see the video again. But, whatever. Anyway. Enough of that. Here's my bed, obviously not made, with this, uh, I rented the bedding set so I didn't have to buy my own when I got here, but it came with this ridiculous, like, fleece lumberjack blanket, like, I don't know, just brown as lumberjack-ish. There's a futon there. I, I wasn't really sure how to make a futon, honestly, but, you know, whatever. Oh, and I have my own pillow. Oh, that's right, because they gave me this terrible, terrible pillow, which, I mean, I know it's, uh, pretty typical for Japan, like, made of beans or whatever, but... Frankly, I find it incredibly uncomfortable. And plus, it's really small. But whatever, I can't handle that. Get out of here. Anyway, enough of that. Um, what else? I think that's all there is in this room. Let's, uh, as you can see, I have this balcony, but I guess that's because I'm on the first floor. It's more of a porch. But, uh, yeah, oh yeah, there's a towel up there because there was a spider that I got in my room. And I got it with a towel because I didn't really have anything else. And it wouldn't leave the towel, it just kind of stood there, so I just kind of put the towel out, and I guess it's gone now. I think it climbed on my suitcase up there, too, which you'll see. Anyway, let's go, let's go outside. It's probably wet. It was rainy all day. Pretty, pretty gross.
Anyway, here you go. Uh, here's my balcony. Or porch, or whatever you want to call it. I'm actually not going to get too close to there because it's kind of gross as you see. Like I said, there's my suitcase, which I'm putting out here because I have no other place to put it. So it's probably, I don't know, going to get destroyed one day. Um, actually, and mine's pretty cool because I'm pretty fenced in from uh, everyone. Not, I mean, not everyone, just like the back side here because, uh, um, yeah, I'm on the end, so it's pretty much fenced, and I'm not towards the campus, so people can't look in and deal with me. It's a bug here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I guess that's all I uh, need to say about room. Sorry, you, I didn't get to talk about the actual dorm room part, or the uh, you know dorm building, but it's really not interesting enough. Um, you know, like I, there's no roof, which is pretty interesting, which means that when I take a shower, it will be... Uh, cold <laughs> in the winter and uh, yeah that's pretty much everything uh, as you can see can break this panel to escape in emergency situations which hopefully will never happen but anyway uh, yeah hopefully someone enjoyed this I sure didn't I don't know it's pretty terrible but whatever and, uh, until next time later